Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title today, we are doing a full face of Clinique products. But before we get into that, shout out to Clinique for sponsoring your girl and partnering with at this point, <laughs> the foundation encyclopedia here on YouTube to tell you guys the news that there's a new foundation being, well, it's not new, but it's the newest foundation being added to the list of the 40 shades and up foundation ranges there. So if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, then just Stay tuned. So we're gonna start out with brows, which I usually don't ever do on camera, but this is there's, there's no way you could mess this up, at least for me, because y'all know my brows are microbladed here. Um, so I figured why not? This is what I've been using in my last few videos to do my brows. These are the Clinique Just Browsing Brush on Styling Mousse. So I'm gonna take the first shade, which is 04, and I'm gonna use that to fill in the tail ends of my brows. So let's see here see that so I literally just pull it through my brows this way also brushing what brow hair I do have up and then take this shade 03 deep brown now y'all heard me talk about him quite a bit his name is Ant WTF he is my favorite professional makeup artist a while ago he said to use blonde in the front a blonde brow setter in the front of your brows to give it dimension stuff like that you know if you have black hair stuff like that you know this is deep brown I use like the shade that this one is a deeper brown like this not not full-on black but I'm gonna use this one instead of or I've been using this one instead of blonde just because I don't know I feel like because my brow hairs are so dark that blonde might be a little too you guys know what I mean like a little too much of a leap there in colors so I'm gonna use this one and just brush the front of my brows and then kind of blend that into the other color and then I just spoolie through the whole thing and then for eyeshadow I'm going to use their best of black honey palette it's very it's very neutral palette so today's eyes are going to be very you know easy every day okay so I'm going to start out with this purple shade right here and let's just place that can you guys hear the rain I usually like the rain but I don't like filming during the rain because I feel like when it rains for people who like when it rains it's that vibe that it gives that very low-key you know lazy day type of thing so i don't i don't like it when i'm trying to work but you know i just felt like randomly throwing that out there and then this shade here for the lid and i'm just gonna apply that i thought maybe just leave it as is with those two colors but you know let's let's just throw in this brown color in the outer for just just let's just 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 out here so now for the star of the show, the foundation I was talking about is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. You don't have to keep saying Clinique throughout the whole video. Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This retails for $29 for one fluid ounce and it now comes in 40 shades. This is one of the very first few foundations I tried on this channel. I'm talking about the first year that I was doing YouTube, so 2016? Yeah, because I started late 2015, so somewhere in 2016. And the shade that I tried at the time was I, but <laughs> we've got more shades now. This this being one of the new ones, you see that? Look at that. Um, so I have five shades here. So let me go ahead and swatch those. Find which one we're gonna use today. Okay, let's see, what does this say? This foundation and concealer in one covers thoroughly with a lightweight feel, naturally flawless look lasts all day for all over coverage or used to spot conceal. Okay, this is the shade. 24 golden all right let's gotta love the applicator here it makes applying foundation onto your face so much easier here so this is 28 clove i think this is the shade that i concealed um, I, I tried as foundation all those years ago this is 28 clove and the next three shades are the ones that I have that are new to me. Now, y'all know I have a neutral undertone and I'm always talking about foundations not having neutral undertone. There ain't no denying the neutral undertone in this shade right here. This is Karab. Wait, wait till y'all see this one. Do you see that? Do you see the, the, the neutralness of that undertone? And the next new shade is Mahogany. Let's... 
that you see that wait where it go all right that is mahogany i think i think we're gonna use mahogany as foundation today this is oh wow <laughs> this is truffle So I'm actually gonna mix 28 and 24 because remember it's a foundation and concealer. So I'm gonna mix those two shades for my concealer. This is 24. I was gonna try 24 on its own, but she she a little she a little light. So I'm just gonna mix it in with 28. You know, give her a little minute to sit on the face there while I check Twitter. And let's just start blending that out. I low-key already forgot that the swatches are on my chest and I have somewhere to go after this, so watch me go out with the swatches on my chest. But I'm gonna leave them there just so we can see, you know, how they dry down by the time I finish the rest of my face. See, letting it dry on your face a little bit just, just makes her a little thicker. And then mahogany for my foundation shade. Now they say you only need, you know, one one dip because of the applicator, and y'all know I'm a one pump type of girl, so let's and let's blend this out. Now it's been a minute since I did try this foundation, but I felt like, you know, it was pretty pretty full coverage foundation. I was thinking like, would it be medium? You can make it, you can certainly make it medium. Like, you know, I did wipe off some of the product off my face before I applied the applicator on. Um, so you certainly can make it more medium coverage if you want to, but this is a pretty full coverage foundation. But I don't think I said it was heavy on my face. I know the foundations are the main focus, but who was going to tell me Clinique had a setting powder? This is their 20 Invisible Blend. I'm gonna use this to set my under eye. At this point, I feel like I have tried most of the setting powders out there, at least from like mainstream, even some, you know, indie-ish brands. And I was on their website and I saw a powder and I was like, where has this been? Do I see this on the Sephora website? I'm just gonna use that to set. And I said I wanted to use Truffle to contour, but y'all know I don't, I don't like the, the, the sharpest of contours there. So using that applicator again, we're going to very... Very, very slightly draw that contour on there. And you know, if we need more, apply more as needed because you can fix that. You can't fix the other way around. And, and I'm gonna use this chubby stick in 01. I feel like I'm low key becoming addicted to like cream blush, even though you know this technically isn't a blush, but I feel like these chubby sticks can be used as what well. blush, contour, depending on the color. Um, th this won't be my contour, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, like lip balms on the eyes. You you can use these type of products for anything. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use her as like a, uh, you know, neutral-ish type of blush. I feel like I am the last person finding out about all of these Clinique products. Did you guys know Clinique had liquid lipsticks? and bullet lipsticks. Um, I mean, this is the closest to brown, so we're gonna go ahead and use this true line. Oh, she's a gloss. All right, that is a gloss. Actually, it's a gloss. Oh, if you were wondering about the gloss, that is Espresso Pop. And then for my eyes, I just threw on mascara. I didn't go in with any lashes because I don't know, I just feel like my face is giving me very, you know, just keep it simple type of vibes. Um, it is a full coverage foundation, but it's not giving me full coverage look. And by full coverage look, I mean, it's not giving me that full coverage, heavy, weighed down, cakey type of look. You know, I feel like it's looking like your skin, but better, you know, no makeup, makeup type of look. That five minute makeup, 
look even though this did not take me five minutes because y'all know i talk too much um so it's not giving me that look and it's certainly not giving me that feel of being a heavy full coverage foundation which i don't think i've seen before well i, I may have I seen a full coverage foundation that didn't look full coverage but it did because it did its purpose of being full coverage on your face and it was full coverage that i didn't even need that much of it to do um like i said you can tone it down if you want to but you know out of the bottle it certainly does come out full coverage and when you think about what clinique is i guess that kind of makes sense that she's kind of giving me you know my skin but better vibes right now because at least for me i know clinique more for their skincare their moisturizers their cleansers stuff like that you saw how surprised i was to find out they have some of these makeup products um so i guess when you think about it like it's not surprising that their makeup would still make you look like you know it's your skin but just a little enhanced there and i am not mad at that at all and that is it for this look i hope i brought you guys some new products that you didn't know about because i was certainly brought to some new products that i didn't know about by doing this video um i hope i you know helped anyone who might have already heard of this foundation before like years ago or if you watched that video that i did years ago um by knowing that there are new shades there are 13 new shades in total um and yeah that is pretty much it for this video so make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i will see you on the next one